बेटा एक बार देखो तो जूम यूट्यूब पे क्रैब हुआ क्या यूट्यूब पे हुआ के चेक करो तो तुमने इसमें चेक किया इस पे?
Okay, very good morning, everyone. Hope I'm audible. You can message me in chat. Hope I'm audible clearly. Please message me in chat. Yes. <clears throat> Thank you. Thank you, guys. So, uh, let me just tell you the brief. This is we are conducting a session in our Vikalp Education app. So uh, there are a few important instruction which is already messaged to you uh, through uh, uh, your WhatsApp group or probably in your uh, mo mobile application itself. So basic thing is you cannot unmute. If you have any query, you can uh, uh, put up in a chat box. But if you really wanted to speak, you need to raise your hand. If you really wanted to speak something and talk about it, so you can you need to raise your hand. I will allow you to speak. And in today's session, we will be mainly focusing on your an understanding towards the aptitude. One of the part would be company aptitude, another entrance exam aptitude. But parallelly in this session, we will be interacting with some questions, some good questions, some really uh, like uh, important topics that is there, which has been very very common in uh, coming aptitude exams. So we'll be talking about that and in parallelly I will be like giving you a few understanding about the aptitude it is changing ever changing in in broader scenario. So uh, without investing much time I would request everyone to uh, like pay attention on it participate in don't sit just for uh, listening it because I will be throwing you some good questions some puzzles some interesting thoughts and then I would actually expecting you to write down you need to solve that is the way effectively you can work on the ultimate way of ultimate purpose of these webinars are to give you a broader understanding towards the uh the the the, 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 the ever changing scenario specifically we can see after covid so in in this entire session we will be talking about that and as i told you like my style of discussing would be giving you throwing you some good questions which has been already appeared in some other exams so that is the way you 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 people will also learn so that is what i'm asking is please make sure that you are sitting with your paper notebook or a pen paper notebook and of course paper a pencil and pen and you are uh, writing down the important points and then whenever the question or a puzzle is coming you are trying and putting your answers in chat box so let us begin with the discussion now and I'm requesting please ask your candidate to come down. Please ask your colleagues to join as soon as possible. We will be starting with the webinar now and this will be important and interesting I believe. Okay, so we are Vikalp Education and we are basically uh, almost now uh, eight years, nine years old organization established in 12 but we started our uh, journey in 2013 late where we are into various aptitude training program effectively the purpose of the vehicle is to provide an alternative towards the learning and learning alternative means where the things which is not being covered in your college syllabus need to be and and, and, and the, the, the syllabus and then which are very very important can be provided here itself so uh, I will not explain you much about Vikalp. It is already available. We are already in social media platform. We are into training in various entrance exams like CAT, CET, government exams, CRT. And also we are uh, one of the pioneer institute for college placement training modules. Okay. So uh, 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 rest of the things can be available in our website. You can cross check. So let us straight away start with the first quiz. As I told you, that quiz is basically the perfect way or uh, uh, perfect way to understand a judge or judgment of yourself. Why we are keeping these type of quiz? Why we are keeping these type of puzzle? Because this will give you a sense of understanding where do you think. Okay. This is nothing related to my judgment or my analysis. This is purely your analysis. So whatever you are basically trying, whatever you are doing it will actually help you to understand yourself it is okay so please try and understand this is webinar for you people not for me so try a full effort try it and try and answer it so the first puzzle which is being there in on your screen a pretty simple one uh five fives you have on your screen you need to make it hundred 
you know, you can use any mathematical operation, but you cannot do you you cannot do two things. First, five need to be uses only five times, not more than, not less than. Exactly five for five times. Second thing is apart from five, no other number is accepted. So eventually you can see five agar aap ke lava four, three, two le rahe, not accepted. Now one solution is pretty simple, I believe, one or two solution. So that is why you can see I have mentioned three minimum solution for this puzzle. So I am requesting everyone to participate, try and understand what exactly you stand for. It is nothing related to Vikalp education or a Hislop college. It is purely related to your judgment, your ability, your skills. Please try and understand you are sitting for a webinar for you, not for me and not for your college, not for anyone else. So it's really a poor efforts Liji and try Kijay and start sending your answers in chat box. Your time starts now. You can send your answers in chat box. Come on quickly. Coordinators ke baad bhi. Coordinators bhi nahi hai. Very good. I started receiving answers. Nikhil, Parthna, Tanushri, Iftisham. But I'm expecting three different solutions at present. Three different solutions. Tanushri, your answer is not correct. The way you have represented, I think you made a typing error. But I believe you have understood it properly. Try. Remaining people should also try and give an answer. Come on, quickly. Hmm. Few more answers. So let us see the possible answers for this question. I believe you can see. Uh, I can see some answers which are pretty common. Two solutions are which which is which is very very pretty evident and you can see are coming also. First is 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 plus 5 and this in bracket multiplied with 5. So eventually this is giving you 100. Okay. Second would be 5 into 5 into 5 minus 5 into 5. So this you can see. Okay. 125 minus 25. This is 100. So these are the two solutions which I have received so far, but I have not received third different solution from anyone. Please try third. And don't use Google because this is a challenge for you. This is nothing related to the things available in social media. Okay. You should remember this. Try by yourself. So one more solution which I can expect from you is 5 minus 5 by 5. This becomes eventually 4. 
and this is multiplied with 5 into 5. So effectively this is nothing but what? 100. You can clearly see this is again 100. So effectively we can see here 5 minus 5 by 5 is 4, 4 into 5 into 5. See these type of puzzle will help you to understand the representation of different operations but most importantly it is actually checking your analytical skills which is very very crucial apart from the subject you learn in your college you really need to understand many things need to be discussed in a, in a practical life so they, these type of puzzles are very very important judgment uh, it will give you a good understanding like where they, where, where exactly you stand for fourth solution i am giving you fourth different solution now which is probably one of the again possibilities which is nothing but you can see the factorial operation factorial operation is nothing but we all know 5 factorial is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1 okay so when i say 5 factorial can you tell me what is the value of 5 factorial quickly tell me the value of 5 factorial Yes, Iftisham, good, good Shravan. See the purpose is I want you to participate. It is 120. So can I say 5 factorial? If you will subtract, this will be the value. Right? Again it is 100. This is giving you another possible solution. I have asked you 3. So far I have given you 4. I will give you one more because I have total 6 solution. 5 solutions I will going to give you. And I'm expecting, please try the sixth solution by yourself. So it will give you a sense of understanding where exactly the, the level of understanding we have. Sixth solution would be wonderful, I believe. It's the best solution which you can expect. Okay. Just a minute. So fifth solution will be this is your fifth solution. So can I say 5 plus 5 is effectively 10. So 10 to the power 2 would be 100 but we cannot make 100 here why we cannot make uh, power 2 because as per the rule power 2 will be a different number so we can make 2 in power can you tell me how to make 2 in power we have 3 5 left try logically try and connect we have 3 5 left with us and we want to make 2 out of 3 5 by using the same mathematical logic how can we make it Try three fives. You want to make it two. So if you can make it two, that means you can make it power two. If you can make it power two, it will effectively become hundred by using three fives. This is what basically the understanding that you need to learn. This is basic, basic small things, but very effective, I believe. So you can make it like five plus five in power divide by five. Now 5 plus 5 divided by 5 will be 2. 10 by 5 is 2. So 10 by 2 power 5 is 2. That means 5 plus 5, 10 to the power 2 will become 100 for us. Understood guys? Clear? Is it, is it perfect? Did you understood this particular solution? The fifth solution is fine. Yes, quickly tell me. Yes or no? Thank you. So, this is the way we can try actually. Now, I am giving you different question now. This is a question which was asked in company. So, as promised that there are some questions which will be discussed to you which has been come, came to companies. Okay. So, just to introduce, we have done this puzzle. This puzzles were basically focusing on 
simple five fives. Now logically the puzzle has same content, uh, uh, different content, but same understanding, same logic basically. So you, instead of fives, you have four zeros. You have to make it twenty-four. But the rule says rules remain same. You cannot use zeros more than four times, and you have to use only zeros for making it twenty-four. This time we don't need three solution. We need only one solution. Only one. This was appeared in one of the interviews of the companies, and it has appeared in many many times. Let us try and final find out this. Come on quickly. Four zeros. You have to make it twenty four. Anyone a solution? No, beta, you didn't understood. Pramodini, ten plus ten plus two two. ये कैसे होगा? You have to make it through zeros only. Use any logic. So make the zeros practically making giving you one hundred, uh, giving you a twenty four. How could we make it? Okay, so this was asked in one of the company's interview, and it is very very common in nature. <coughs> Zero factorial, zero factorial, zero factorial, zero factorial. So by definition, factorial of zero is one. Okay. So you don't need to uh, like move forward and making some extra logic. Just understand the basic principle of factorial. So factorial of zero is one. So when factorial of zero is one, I can make it a factorial, 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 which I will add these four values. as soon as i will add these four values this will become 4 and this is 24 so this is the hint 24 is nothing but 4 factorial so 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 that is 4 and this is 4 factorial 4 factorial would be eventually 24 24 so so this is the way you can make it understood guys now this is this is clear how to make 24 out of zeros This is clear to everyone. Come on, quickly! Some more responses. I really need to understand. Perfect, perfect. Yes. So, guys, please try and understand these type of questions are actually checking your ability to understand concept. Okay. Repeat again. So, I am repeating the factorial of zero is one. We want to make it twenty four out of it. By definition, factorial of zero is one. So I will keep factorial, factorial, factorial in four. As soon as I will factorial and add all the values, this will be one plus one plus one. This is one plus one plus one plus one. So effectively, one plus one plus one plus one is four. And if I will keep a factorial of four, effectively this will become twenty-four. So this is the way we can try and sort it out such questions. and i believe you would understand these type of questions in in specific things okay so uh aise question pe aapko efforts lene hain learn karne hain this is just to beginning begin with i am not saying the same questions will going to come or same question will going to ask but i am just giving you a path or an understanding this is the way you have to approach your preparation on aptitude aptitude guys is not only important for your companies but it is important for your all practical life so please make sure that you will be learning out of it okay 
So let us move to the second thing now. Aptitude. Now, basically, when I say aptitude, it consists of these many possible things. It does not mean aptitude is only quantitative, which is normally being a confusion to many of you. Aptitude does not mean only your quantitative skills. Let me tell you, aptitude consists of all blend of all possible things which is available on your screen. So it is quantitative, it is your reasoning, it is your verbal, it is your data analysis skill. It is also include your current knowledge, You how well you are upgraded yourself in your current knowledge. Social media, how you are managing your practical, your life with social media. And of course, up more than above, communication, communication like how well you are communicating. So it does not mean aptitude is only with pertaining to particular subjects. Of course, aptitude when say aptitude will consist of these three things in, 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 in simples. Sometimes it includes data analysis also in general exams per se. But I believe aptitude is consisting of the all the blend of it. Now, please try and understand why aptitude has become more important now. See, before pandemic also somehow the level of education that we are pertaining to is not to the standard with the global standard. So when the companies, when the big corporates or look, let's say local corporates are hiring, they are very, very disappointed by the way the schooling or the college has been done in our institute. This is not my data. This is not Vikalp education is saying. This is the data available in Google. You can see I'm talking about pre pandemic. It's not about post pandemic. Post pandemic, the situation has been become more and more problematic and that's why this has become more important. So pre pandemic also companies has realized that if I want to recruit someone, if I want or a college, let's say an MBA college or an MCA college, they have realized that if I want to recruit, uh, hi, uh, if I, I, I want to select someone, I really need to be more towards understanding that person's basic skills pertaining at present rather than his marks or rather than his uh, academics. Okay, so academic is has the most priority. Academic was the ultimate superior priority, I think, 20 years back, 15 years back. The priorities of academies has been slowly, slowly reduced. Today, let me tell you the priorities, the, the criteria of academic has become only subject to minimum criteria. Otherwise, if you are a 70 person holder or a 80 person holder or in fact, a 90 person holder, almost people are companies or probably you can say any college is not that interested to know. Post pandemic things has become more and more specific now. See, India has started with late for the fourth revolution. You should remember we are the world has witnessing 4.0. 4.0 is nothing but the fourth revolution. First revolution was based on machine. Second revolution on electric. Third revolution on computers and electronics. Fourth revolution is on data science, data management. Okay, data science. So basically this fourth revolution is very dynamic, very, very uh, uh, effective. Why I'm discussing this guys. See. If you will not understand the, uh, the the basic things, if you will not understand the basic criteria about what exactly need to be there in practical life, you will be lacking and you will not uh, be able to like select in a particular company. So that is why you need to understand what is the basic requirement now. So the requirement is need to know two basic basic priorities. First is your data skills data management skills okay when i say data skills it's basically comprises of your ability on quantitative on data interpretation it is ability towards uh, relating numbers understanding numbers so that is what your data skill it also include your presentation your excel skills that also includes in your data science if you are non-technical also that basic thing you must need to be be a company with I'm telling you, it is not about only data science is not only related to codings or data science is not related to the, the, the core things. It is it is related to basic data skills, how, how you are 
uh, like searching anything in your Google. So Google form, if you are taking, if you are, you are going and searching in a Google, how well you are effectively searching, that is also your data skills. There are multiple things available. Second important skills nowadays is required is comprehension. So when I say comprehension skills, comprehension means when you are reading a data, how you are relating it, how well you are comprehending it. So for that, you really need to be a good reader. See, these two things, if you are lacking, please try and judge by yourself. I am nobody to judge you at present. I am not seeing you. We are not meeting physically. But I can tell you that you can at least understand these basic criteria. If you are not pertaining these two skills, it will be difficult for you in future to survive in a huge or fiercely competitive world. But if you are pertaining these skills, I am telling you guys, you will never be sitting ideal and you will your growth will be exponential you will you will unlike anything because the world is actually paying any amount of money to the people who are basically uh, 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 skilled enough for a con con considering the present situation so please try and understand i'm i'm requesting this thing because ultimately being a teacher or a mentor this is my social responsibility also being a country like India, which is having the highest young population, but if young population is not that skilled, it will be a burden to our society or a country. So please, I'm requesting with my folded hands that try and understand, please upgrade your knowledge. Just don't run, don't run through the, going for a marks on your college, college exam. That is one part of your learning. I'm not saying just ignore it. I'm saying that is your one specific thing that is ultimately that is not the ultimate thing that you need to understand please try and understand you have to come up with that shell that i'm i'm only focusing towards my exam preparation or a college college exam and i'm not pertaining towards my uh, rest of the curricular activity which has been sometime it has been one of the thing is aptitude and other part now companies if you can see the present situation companies are compulsory companies entrance exam various management exam everywhere government exams you will find companies and all are compulsory asking for search uh, rounds government in their nep national education policy which is yet to be uh, applicable in our country has make it mandatory that from fifth sixth standard people should start learning aptitude and after 12, there will be compulsory aptitude test for any college. At present, in Hislop College, you have not appeared for any aptitude exam. You just have, up, just based on your percentage or whatever be the criteria the college has put up, you have just entered. After one or two years, you will find for entering into Hislop College also, for entering into any graduate college, just like engineering college, just like medical, just like MBA, you have to give an entrance exam for graduation college also so that is why government has come up with this this basic thing so you should understand that what is the weightage of my academic criteria so i'm again repeating i'm not against the academic uh, uh, studies i'm i'm absolutely not against i my only concern is the students when i'm meeting with hundreds and thousands of students and on a regular basis this is not the first time we are doing it this is we are doing it from so many years only the mode have changed I have came to your college at least three, four times in last six, seven years and taken these type of sessions. So that is why I'm telling you that if you will not understand that your data skills and comprehension skills is good or you will not work on it, you will, you will feel very, very difficult in broader, broader, broadly uh, in, in your future life. Okay. So this is aptitude in broad. You should uh, come up and uh, understand it. And I believe you will slowly, slowly uh, for uh, work on it and then start understanding it apart from your academy you need to work on this also then why i am i am choosing an mba as an option i am not uh, moving towards only an mba but one of the best possible career options i am telling you i may be like it may be like few people are may are not be very very keen on doing an mba but still you can understand and try and figure it out why I'm choosing an MBA as a career, a good career option. If you really wanted to pursue, let's say in, a, in, in your college days, you have learned some subjects of some practice, some basic theory, theoretical things. Now you have to come up with the practical aspects of it. Then I believe the MBA is the best option available. Today, MBA 
is one of the major career option which can provide you the stability in terms of your job and as well as with a good packages good future life good stable and good sustainable growth in your career good good development of your career so mba is one of the best possible career and this is most mostly very very comfortable and easy to move in career which compared to other career options which has been available to you so what i believe is like as you know any any graduate can do an mba if suppose you are a, you are not from bba or bcom still if you are a bsc candidate or a let's say you are a bca or bcca candidate still you can appear for an mba this is the great possible thing about mba okay so these are the major reason i believe of doing an mba mba is not only based on only towards the salary packages yes you will be getting a good salary packages if you are doing from top 150 plus colleges top 150 there are total 4000 colleges more than 4000 plus mba colleges across the country but we don't want to do mba from any tom dick and harry college we just want to do an mba from top 150 if you are doing it from top 150 you will have a great career option available the best thing about mba is the occur the they they the, the way they adopt the current current situation i am seeing the mba education since last 16 17 years they have adopted the career very well today you will find data science data management as one of the core subject in almost every mba colleges which has been not linked to universities those who are a private or a pgdm colleges you will find the upgraded cell syllabus upgraded package because companies are demanding we don't want a candidate who have learned old uh, old things we want a candidate who have upgraded themselves so this is actually forcing people to learn new things and this is the best possible possible thing okay uh, and the, the best uh, other important point that you will you may find in mba is that the, the the kind of a business network or the kind of a atmosphere that you will be getting with so guys please try and understand the network that you will be creating in mba is phenomenal i did my mba 15 years uh, uh, exactly 13 years before 79 i was the 79 pass out batch so through my mba i have, have created a huge circle of mind and that circle is actually helped me so many times in many many ways about learning about about understanding the new technology because everyone have a different different uh, forte in within, within themselves today i am i am doing a program with i am lucknow just to upgrade myself because my mba is around 14 years before 13 years before so today i am doing a program with i am lucknow and i am lucknow is basically one of the top four colleges in across the country so this program is basically helping me to understand the new thing so this program is more or less one year program which is somehow related to your mba also so the upgradation is very much required but parallelly the requirement of mba is huge tremendous absolutely great so ye kuch baaton ko aap dhyan mein rakhe you can choose as an mba as a career option and i believe you will you will start thinking on this particular career option also let us do another puzzle before i will do a discussion this is the way we will be moving forward today i will give you some good questions with again all the question has been appeared in one or two companies or one or two entrance exam but all are practical and judging your basic ability so let us try this puzzle a great possible puzzle based on both your comprehension and numerical skill this is the type of question you can expect okay you need to have a good reading skills as well as good knowledge on this particular part so let us try this brain teaser on one of the good concepts of mathematics let us try Oh, oh. 
Try answers, guys. Possible answers. What do you feel? Which is correct? Okay, some answers. No, but Adipanshu, you have not understood it properly. Uh, Shravan, that is can be possible. Arpana, how can it be 666? Please try and understand the multiplication would be 36. So, Pragati, it should not be. But I am appreciating the people who are trying. Don't be concerned behind the correct answer. Just try. This is what you should do it. This is the way you will learn. Rest of the things will follow automatically, guys. Okay. So, uh, basically, there are three daughters of Jacqueline, A, B and C. I am keeping it A, B and C. So, you can see a daughter A, daughter B and daughter C. Ra, the multiplication of these daughter, the age of the multiplication, matlab A into B into C is given as 36. Now, they have asked us to give us a sum of their ages. So, this is basically a based on a concept called uh, concept of simple concept of a uh, divisor where it is asking you to sum it. So, it, 36 is multiplication. No, but you are adding 12 plus 12 plus 12 is not right. It should be 12 into 12 into 12. Your addition should be 36. Your addition should be 36. वो कैसा होना चाहिए कि 36 एक का एज हो, एक का एज a one हो और एक का एज one हो, तो ये 36 into one into one ये possible हो सकता है, तो sum जो होगा, ये तो multiplication है, sum जो होंगे, वो अलग-अलग possible sum होंगे, तो one possible sum is 38, other possible sum is 18 into two into one, 18 two जा 36, मतलब इनका multiplication 36 आना चाहिए, sum कुछ भी हो सकता है, so this is 21 other possible is 12 into 3 into 1. So, ye 12, 36 plus 1. Three. This is the sum would be 15 plus 1, 16. <coughs> the other sum could be 9 into 4 into 4. You can see, uh, sorry, 9 into 4 into 1. 9 into 4 into 1. This is nothing but 30, no, 9 plus 4, 13 plus 1, 14. Other could be 9 into 2 into 2. Ye bhi ho sakta tha. So this is what 13. Other could be 6 into 6 into 1. This is what again 13. Or bhi bahut sare possibilities ban sakte the. Thikhe? Jo aapko stikna tha 6 into 3 into 2. 
और भी ऑप्शन हो सकते थे नाउ इतने समेशन के ऑप्शन हैं आपके पास ठीक है अब ऐसे क्वेश्चनों को डील करने के लिए एज आई टोल्ड यू योर एबिलिटी ऑन Ability on your comprehension, ability to read and then comprehend is crucial. So you can see when Jacqueline ने investigator को अपनी daughters का uh, multiplication बताया और उन्होंने बोला कि sum of their ages is the number next to door. ठीक है तो investigator तो भाई blind नहीं है वो तो देख सकता था तो उसने investigator ने जब देखा and he got confused and that's why he said स्टिल नॉट इनफ इंफॉर्मेशन इस पर्टिकुलर स्टेटमेंट का मतलब है कि वो कंफ्यूज हुआ कंफ्यूज इसलिए हुआ क्योंकि ही गॉट टू सिमिलर सम एंड टू सिमिलर सम्स यू कैन सी हेयर थर्टीन सो दैट इज वाई अगर अगर उसका नेक्स्ट डोर में समेशन सिक्सटीन होता तो वो बता देता कि ट्वेल्व थ्री वन है अगर ट्वेंटी वन होता तो वो एटीन टू वन बता देता और 14 होता तो 941 बता देता बट ऐसा नहीं हुआ वो कंफ्यूज हुआ इसलिए उसने पूछा कि स्टिल नॉट इनफ इंफॉर्मेशन दैट्स वाई जैकलीन ने फिर और एडिशनल इंफॉर्मेशन क्या दिया कि आई फॉगट टू टेल यू दैट माय ओल्डेस्ट डॉटर इज नॉट स्कूल सो दैट मींस आई हैव टू पॉसिबल आंसर विथ मी ए बी सी का एज नाइन हो सकता है या सिक्स हो सकता है बट इन दोनों में से Because of this statement, I will be unable to answer correctly. So tell me what is the answer? Nine two two or six six one? What is the correct answer you feel? Nine 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 two two or six six one based on the information? Okay, very good, Shravan. Yes, you are spot on. Perfect, Arpana. प्रगति साक्षी दिस इज वॉट द वे यू नीड टू लर्न एंड देखिए अप्रिशिएशन ये है ऑल दो ड्यू टू पेनेडेमिक वी आर नॉट फिजिकली मीटिंग बच्चों पर फिर भी ये मोड ऑफ लर्निंग काफी अच्छा है अब दो साल हो चुका है हमको और आपको ये अडोप्ट करना चाहिए इसको न्यू नॉर्मल बोलते हैं दो सु आर ट्राइंग पुटिंग इन एफर्ट आई एम गिविंग यू गारंटी ये आपको हेल्प करेगा और जो बिल्कुल भी नहीं ट्राई करते हैं उनके लिए तो टाइम वेस्ट ही होने वाला है तो द राइट आंसर विल बी नाइन टू टू ओल्डेस्ट कभी भी एक होता है और ओल्डेस्ट डॉटर स्कूल में है तो यहाँ दो ओल्डेस्ट हो जाएंगे तो वो गलत हो गया ओल्डेस्ट डॉटर स्कूल में मतलब ये वाली डॉटर स्कूल में है और बची हुई दोनों डॉटर जो है वो स्कूल नहीं जाती तो यही एक सबसे सब पॉसिबल आंसर बनता है नाइन टू टू सो द एजेस ऑफ दर डॉटर वुड बी नाइन टू टू दिस इज द वे वी कैन एक्चुअली लर्न थिंग्स अंडरस्टूड गाइस यस टेल मी यस और नो Did you understood? काफी सारे आंसर्स गुड साक्षी और बाकी श्रवण थैंक यू थैंक यू परफेक्ट चलिए सो लेट इज मूव टू नेक्स्ट बेसिक अंडरस्टैंडिंग आई वॉज टॉकिंग दैट एम बी ए कॉलेजेस कैन प्रोवाइड यू अ ग्रेट करियर ऑप्शन and this is because the college is available across the country our uh, to us see guys uh, i am i am a hardcore person who has done his mba presently also doing a program with i am lucknow i did with gbims so i can guide you really well in preparation as well as the type of selection that you have to do it so i would never suggest anyone that you should you should go for any college because this is for a two year but two year is the most precious two year of your life and i will not suggest anyone that you should choose a career which is maybe not giving you a great career opportunity so that is why i am asking you to think about mba as a career it's a great opportunity to being an mba and have a great possible career option available but the condition apply would be here it is mentioned 100 plus i am giving you a liberty to choose among 150 name of the colleges available 150 top colleges where if you will do an mba the minimum salary now you can draw 12 lakhs whatever the college is here it is available these are top most colleges these colleges will give you minimum 15 to 18 lakh rupees salary average highest absolutely no limit if 
you will see the packages of IMs. You will find top IMs is getting packages close to 40, 50 lakh. This is I am talking about domestic packages. Uh, international packages, so it should be always in a cross. So the point is very simple that you need to be uh, stick to a career which can provide you a better possibility. So let me just go through. Let me just give you a light on the type of colleges. And I'm not giving you in very detail. Please try and understand this is actually require a long discussion on this. And today we are not only focusing towards these colleges. I'm just giving you a brief about it. So as I told you, 20 top IMs are the country's most eligible colleges for doing an MBA program. They, they, they actually offer a PGDM program, but this is basically the topmost. So today the brand, the brand thing is actually matters you you purchase an iphone phone and you purchase a simple phone like let's say a lava phone or a micromax but when you compare the feature in iphone you will find that a feature is an mi phone or probably any any other phone is much much higher and iphone phone has a feature less but still you pay almost double the amount more than double the amount for purchasing an iPhone. The reason is pretty simple. iPhone has their own class, elite, brand. That is what IM is all about. So it's not about the investment. The, 20, the two year which you are spending with these top colleges is going to give you a clear cut age over other people. So entering into IMs, not easy, but it is not impossible. Yes, it is difficult, but it is pretty much practical and you can reach it. Let me tell you one thing that please try and understand and listen it carefully. When I was preparing for my MBA, when I was there, when I was doing my MBA preparation, that point of time, uh, the, the type of CAT exam used to come was biased towards the engineering student and biased towards the people who have a good background in English. So if you are an engineer, you can easily crack quantitative and data section. If you are in a person who have a good uh, background in your family where you are speaking in English only, you are you have a habit since your childhood on reading novels and all, you can easily crack English section. So this is biased towards people like you, me, who have not gone through or not got an upbringing towards these, these facilities. I'm also not an engineer and neither I have basically uh, an English background and as well as not a math maths background. So in 2015, IIMs have realized that in across the world rating, Indian IIMs are not coming. Top 50 rating mein do ya teen IIMs aate hain. Top 10 mein you will find three to four universities from China. So China has moved so much, so much advanced and Indian IIMs are not in top 50. Then they have changed the entire structure. So, the first structure they have changed on the batch, batch ko ka jo profiling ko jo hota hai usme badalne ka. I still remember 2010, 11, 12 tak, most of the candidates selected in IIMs are engineer, engineers from top IITs and IIMs. Now, if you will see, still there are engineers are dominant factor. Undoubtedly, they have a better, better four years of preparation, specifically IIT and NITs. But Today, you will find the versatile batch sites. That means now for a commerce or a science or a uh, computer application student have and a B BBA student have a good opportunity to enter in IIM because they are choosing the multiple uh, uh, the type of specialization while selecting to the IIMs. So this is actually a good opportunity for you people. Aaj aisa nahi tha, pehle aisa nahi tha, ab ye hone laga hai last 4-5 years se. You will find people are from arts background, for science background, for a commerce background, engineering also. They are in fact people who have done MBA, uh, MBBA, sorry, doctors. They are also applying for an IM because IMs are supreme, superb. They are highly upgraded, provides you a tremendous career options with, within themselves. So 20 IMs, the top 6 are Blackie, Bola Jata, Bangalore, Lucknow, Ahmedabad, Calcutta, Kozikode and Indore are the pioneer, the first generation IM the supreme IMs. So these are top six, which is most toughest. But if you can enter, you can, you will, you will have a great option available within yourself. Apart from IMs also, 
यू विल फाइंड मेनी अदर कॉलेजेस ओके ठीक है ठीक है सो बेसिकली अदर देन आई एम यू विल फाइंड एफ एम एस एफ एम एस इज वन ऑफ द कॉलेज इज नोन अक्रॉस द वर्ल्ड इट इज वन ऑफ द चीपेस्ट कॉलेज अक्रॉस द एशिया द ग्रेटेस्ट आर ओ आई अवेलेबल सो फैकल्टी ऑफ मैनेजमेंट स्टडीज इन डेली इज वन ऑफ द ग्रेटेस्ट कॉलेज अवेलेबल विच कम अंडर द कैट एग्जाम जे बी आई एम एस अगेन इज अ ग्रेटर ग्रेटर पॉसिबिलिटीज यू विल फाइंड जे बी आई एम एस इज वन ऑफ द कॉलेज which is in mumbai has a tremendous opportunity those who wanted to opt for hr hr accelerai is known accelerai jamshedpur is known for this accelerai jamshedpur ke sath tis is also known for hr and scm hrd symbosis is also known for the hr sibm now opened in nagpur also it was previously in pune bangalore and now it is in nagpur also so you can find this college again is giving you a greater option IMT is one of the college which is in Nagpur also. IIMs is also Nagpur. India, uh, in Maharashtra, the only IIM is is in Nagpur. IIM Nagpur. Okay. So these are colleges in broadly can give, provide you a greater career options available. And I am sensing you that please make it sure that you will be trying to putting forward your effort in entering into these colleges. This is this is something which is one of the top most possible. things available to you okay so again this these discussion is never ending we can have a greater discussion in future whenever the time permits i will i will make it sure okay then ultimately how to make a career option better how to choose a career option for that you just need to understand the amalgamation of these three things guys you should remember let's say you have done a computer application and you will you will make a career in computer app computers only it doesn't matter it it is not necessary okay it totally depends on your interest abilities and the options available towards you so what i would suggest is please if you are not that clear with your idea and and not that clear with the idea and effectively you can see that uh, uh, if you are not sure that which career to be pertain with i would request everyone that to try and figure out by doing the psychometric analysis we also do psychometric testing for our mba students and those who are joining our cat batches we provide them without any cost this give them a clear sense of an understanding that which career field you have to choose but again if you are confused with the, the career option itself available like let's say for a computer application whether i should go for a company or for a mca or or i should go for an mba then i would request you to try and sit with some mentors you can come to us and we can have a discussion on that but try and understand one thing that if you will not choose career wisely it will going to impact very very badly till graduation okay fine whatever you have done nobody will going to ask but in your pg now onwards whatever you are doing will actually going to decide your course of action your career option available तो ये करियर ऑप्शंस के लिए बेटर ऑप्शंस कब तक नहीं होंगे जब तक आप राइट right करियर में नहीं होंगे सो so इसलिए हमेशा याद रखिए कि चूजिंग अ करियर इज वेरी वेरी स्मार्ट एंड इंपॉर्टेंट डिसीजन टेक इट वेरी वाइजली डोंट गो विद द फ्लो डोंट गो विद व्हाट अदर आर सेइंग थिंक ऑन मल्टीपल एस्पेक्ट्स एंड देन डिसाइड व्हाट यू आर वांटेड टू डू इट एंड डिसाइड करने का फैक्टर आज ही होना चाहिए इफ यू आर इन फर्स्ट ईयर सेकंड ईयर डोंट वेट यू आर lacking with the time because if you really wanted to make a career in a good shape or good good possibility aapka preparation early start hona chahiye and ye baat dimag mein rakh lijiye without preparation aapko ek chhota sa company mein job bhi nahi milega aapko milega wo job jo aap 10 din bhi kaam nahi kar payenge agar aap preparation karte hain to multiple options aapke samne khule rehte hain aap agar efforts rehte hain updated rehte hain to bahut sare cheeze rahenge theek hai so ye sari baaton ko bahut uh importantly aapko learn karna and understand karna and then only you will be able to make it a good in your career options then specialization when i talk about there are many many specialization many things are available uh, the main common specialization uh, is for finance and of course marketing then hr these are the three most common specialization <clears throat> for engineering people who have done their mechanical operation management has become another option available 
But now the things has changed so drastically that some colleges are now offering specialization on international business because ultimately India is one of the economy which is highly relied on the economies available in across the world. So that can be one of the possibilities. Then marketing, maybe digital marketing is another career option. Business analytics is really, really, really important. If you are pertaining this particular career option, you will have a greater, greater opportunities available with you. So what I would suggest, think wisely, think twice, think and, and try and understand it, then practically decide your career rather than just putting forward your effort towards one thing. Okay. And I'm telling you guys, this is just a discussion. I'm doing it. If you are clear with your idea, you can have, you can just think on it, whatever I'm saying, you don't want to do it. It's fine. You just try and understand whatever I'm trying to convey. Because this is not necessary, you can get a lot of good options in listening. हो सकता है बाद में जाके आपको लगे कि रियलाइज हो कि मुझे जब पता ही नहीं था जब पता चला सो दिस इज आई एम आई एम फीलिंग इज बेटर ऑप्शन कंपैरेटिवली द ऑप्शन व्हिच आई वाज थिंकिंग इट सो ये बात बिल्कुल ध्यान रखिए कि ये सब वेबिनार्स का ये बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट इंपैक्ट हो जाता है ओके Now let us try one more puzzle, which I believe is one of the very, very common thing. Let us try this, a wonderful puzzle based on a concept. Let me see how many of you can answer it. Good puzzle. I have received one of the question and I will answer the question at the later stage present. I have understood your question beta. We'll, we'll discuss this. And rest of the people also can start putting forward their queries. I will be answering them. Okay, Sakshi has given one of the answer. Try, some more people try. नहीं बेटा साक्षी आपने 33 दिया फिर 1 दिया नो नो नो
फर्स्ट लॉकर नो ठीक है सी द बेस्ट थिंग अबाउट दीज पजल्स बच्चो की दिस विल एक्चुअली फोर्सिंग यू टू रीड एंड थिंक एंड दिस इज द वे वी कैन एक्चुअली मूव फॉरवर्ड ऐसा नहीं है कि केवल आपको हर बार कोई चीज दिया जाएगा और वही आपको करना है आपको अपनी थिंकिंग एबिलिटी डेवलप करना तो ये पजल्स काफी क्रूशल है काफी इंपॉर्टेंट है काफी मजेदार भी है ओके सो आई होप एवरीबडी हैव रेड द क्वेश्चन एंड अंडरस्टूड इट लेट एस लेट मी जस्ट गिव यू अ ब्रीफ अबाउट इट दिस स्ट्रेंज प्रिंसिपल इज डूइंग अ एक्टिविटी विद देयर वन थाउजेंड कैंडिडेट एक हजार बच्चे हैं ये हमको पता चल गया क्योंकि वन थाउजेंड लॉकर है and 1000 bachche so what it is saying is every person should go and open the locker if it find, if if the person find locker closed and close the locker if he finds if he or she finds open okay so this is what it band mila to khol do ya khola khola hua mila to band kar do ab unko jaane ka ek pattern unhone bataya ki har person keval wohi locker touch karega jo uska multiple hai so in simple to sentence suppose third person hai so third person will going to touch only locker which are multiple of 3 that means 3 6 9 12 15 and on so on and so forth so teen ko kon kon open kar teen teen kis kis ko touch karega third person teen ke multiple mein but ye concept actually yahan tak question aapko bata raha hai but isko aapko learn karne ke liye isko samajhne ke liye iska reverse move karna chahiye to This is not a question on multiple. Actually, this is a question on divisor. So, we have to see which door we have to touch. So, I am just giving you a basic understanding that which door we have to touch. So, I am just giving you a basic understanding that which door we have to touch. So, I am just giving you a basic understanding that which door we have to touch. So, I am just giving you a basic understanding that which door we have to touch. So, I am just giving you a basic understanding that which door we have to touch. So, I am just giving you a basic understanding that which door we have to touch. So, I am just giving you a basic understanding that which door we have to touch. So, I am just giving you a basic understanding that which door we have to touch. देखिए आपको समझ में आया क्या सिक्स डोर को कौन कौन सा डोर कौन कौन सा स्टूडेंट टच करेगा कौन कौन सा कैंडिडेट टच करेगा सिक्स को कौन कौन टच करने वाला है स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम बिल्कुल स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम बेसिक्स है ना शुरू से बेटा ये पता चल रहा है ना वही तो आपको पढ़ना है दैट इज वॉट इट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन क्लियरली द इंस्ट्रक्शन दिया हुआ है सिद्धांत All the lockers were closed initially. Nikhil is saying one and three. Prathna, Prathna, Prathna saying no, no. Twelfth student no. वो तो touch नहीं करेगा वो नहीं. Yes, yes. आपको समझ आ रहा है. Sixth को केवल वो ही touch करेगा जो six के divisors हैं. Six into one and three into two. छः को first door क्या करेगा सबसे पहले touch करेगा और वो क्या करेगा open कर देगा उसको क्योंकि close है. All the doors were closed. Now second person आएगा, वो because छः के divisor में आता है तो वो आएगा, उसको मिलेगा door open तो वो close कर देगा. अब third person आएगा और वो देखेगा door close है तो वो open कर देगा. अब fourth person आएगा तो क्या fourth person six को touch कर पाएगा? Yes or no में answer कीजिए. क्या fourth person sixth door को touch कर पाएगा? Yes or no में answer कीजिए. Brilliant. Now you have understood. So fourth door को touch नहीं fourth door sixth को नहीं touch कर पाएगा fifth door touch नहीं कर पाएगा अब sixth door touch कर पाएगा क्या yes sixth door touch करेगा और वो अपने आप के door को sixth door को sixth person क्या करेगा बंद कर देगा इसके बाद मुझे बताइए sixth door को कोई touch कर पाएगा yes और no में answer कीजिए yes मतलब कर सकता है और no मतलब नहीं कर सकता है छठवे के पर्सन के बाद कोई पर्सन क्या सिक्स डोर को टच कर पाएगा यस और नो में आंसर कीजिए दैट्स इट दैट्स इट खत्म नाउ यू हैव अंडरस्टूड सिक्स पर्सन को आखिरी पर्सन वो खुद ही टच करेगा क्योंकि किसी भी नंबर का मैक्सिमम डिवाइजर वो खुद होता है मतलब सिक्स डोर तो क्लोज है भाई बंद ही रह गया ना अब कोई नहीं टच करेगा एक और एग्जाम्पल लेते हैं सेवन सेवन एक प्राइम नंबर है तो पहले इसको वन टच करेगा और दूसरा नंबर टच करेगा सेवन अब सेवन एक प्राइम नंबर है तो उसके दो ही डिवाइजर्स होंगे तीसरा कोई डिवाइजर नहीं है तो ये भी क्लोज रह जाएगा ये बंद रह गया इसके बाद मैं ट्राई करता हूं एक और नंबर लेट से नाइन 
नाइन को कौन कौन टच करेगा सबसे पहले वन हर किसी को वन तो हर किसी को टच करेगा वन इज अवाइजर टू ऑल द नेचुरल नंबर इसके बाद वो थ्री उसको टच करेगा और लास्ट पर्सन टच करेगा नाइन्थ डोर को नाइन्थ पर्सन नाइन्थ क्या रह गया ओपन रह गया नाइन्थ को कोई और टच नहीं करने वाला है नाइन्थ ओपन रह गया एक और एग्जांपल लेते हैं सिक्सटीन वन टच करेगा टू टच करेगा फोर टच करेगा एट टच करेगा और आखिरी पर्सन टच करेगा सिक्सटीन तो सिक्सटीन भी ओपन रह गया Now tell me why these two is closed and ये basically चलो ये मत बताओ close क्यों थे ये क्यों open रह गए ये बताइए इनमें common क्या है खास बात क्या है किस कारण से ये लोग open रह गए नौ and सोलह what is the logic this is your thinking that's it this is what you have to think नो no, बेटा ऑड नंबर कहा है नो मैक्सिमम डिवाइजर नहीं मल्टीपल नहीं इवन नंबर भी कहा है एक इसलिए मैंने एक ऑड और एक इवन लिया बोथ द नंबर्स आर परफेक्ट स्क्वायर स्क्वायर दोनों की दोनों क्या है परफेक्ट स्क्वायर्स हैं आर यू गेटिंग अ पॉइंट हियर सो दिस इज बेसिकली अ लॉजिक ओवर हियर परफेक्ट स्क्वायर के जो डोर्स रहेंगे वो ओपन रह जाएंगे यहां पे, राइट सो परफेक्ट स्क्वायर वाले डोर्स ओपन रहेंगे क्यों क्योंकि परफेक्ट स्क्वायर में अगर आप ऑब्जर्व करो नौ के तीन डिवाइजर्स हैं एंड सिक्सटीन के पांच डिवाइजर्स हैं इसका मतलब क्या है कि उनके ऑड नंबर ऑफ डिवाइजर्स होते हैं हमेशा ठीक है सो ऑड डिवाइजर्स के लिए यह लॉजिक बेस्ड होता है अगर आप छे और सात की बात करें तो इसमें चार इवन डिवाइजर्स हैं इवन मतलब इसके चार हैं सात के दो ही डिवाइजर्स हैं ओके सो दिस इज व्हाट द बेसिक लॉजिक हियर सो टेल मी इन फर्स्ट थाउजेंड नंबर कितने कितने परफेक्ट स्क्वायर होंगे एक से लेके हजार तक शुरुआत करेंगे यदि हम तो ये होगा वन फोर नाइन सिक्सटीन करते करते बोलिए कहां तक डिवाइजर्स होंगे परफेक्ट स्क्वायर्स होंगे आखिरी परफेक्ट स्क्वायर कहां पर होगा द लास्ट परफेक्ट स्क्वायर विल बी नाइन सिक्सटी वन सो एक से लेके थर्टी वन स्क्वायर तक ये डिवाइजर्स रहने वाले हैं थर्टी वन स्क्वायर तक परफेक्ट स्क्वायर रहने वाले हैं ओनली परफेक्ट स्क्वायर सी जो रहेंगे वो ओपन रह जाएंगे बाकी सारे डोर किसी ना किसी रीजन से क्लोज हो जाने वाले हैं ठीक है तो वन स्क्वायर टू स्क्वायर थ्री स्क्वायर फोर स्क्वायर करते हुए थर्टी वन स्क्वायर तक क्योंकि थर्टी वन के बाद नंबर होगा थर्टी टू एंड थर्टी टू का स्क्वायर होता है वन जीरो टू फोर एक हजार चौबीस तो दैट मीन यू विल नॉट बी इफेक्टिवली यू आर रीचिंग बियॉन्ड थाउजेंड तो हमारे पास थाउजेंड डोर ही है ठीक है सो अंडरस्टूड गाइस क्लियर है यस श्रवण वेरी गुड समझ आया आपको डिड यू अंडरस्टूड प्लीज टेल मी यस और नो ब्रिलियंट दिस वाज दिस इज व्हाट दैट इज व्हाई मैं चाहता तो आपको क्वेश्चंस कुछ ऐसे रखता था जो क्वांटिटेटिव के हैं बट आई थिंक ये सब बेसिक लॉजिक्स हैं जो आपको समझना चाहिए वी विल लर्न इफ यू विल कनेक्ट विथ अस फॉर कोर्स क्लासेस वी विल डेफिनेटली गोइंग टू लर्न ऑन दीस एस्पेक्ट्स बट ये कॉन्सेप्ट बेसिक कॉमन सेंस में बेस्ड है बट अच्छे अच्छे कॉन्सेप्ट भी इसमें इस्तेमाल है चलिए सो फाइनली लेट एस इंट्रोड्यूस एम बी एंट्रेंस के लिए कैट विल नॉट गो इन वेरी डिटेल विल जस्ट टॉक अबाउट ब्रीफ कैट के एम बी एंट्रेंस में कैट के अलावा भी बहुत से एंट्रेंस एग्जाम्स है फॉर एग्जाम्पल सीमेंट है स्नैप है सीमेंट इज फॉर ऑल इंडिया कॉलेजेस जितने भी अक्रॉस द कॉलेजेस हैं उसमें एंट्री करने के लिए आपको सीमेंट देना होता है स्नैप इज फॉर सिम्बोसिस आई एफ टी इज फॉर आई एफ टी कॉलेज जो है एम एस सी टी इज वन ऑफ प्रोमिनेंट फॉर एम बी ए कॉलेज इन एम बी एंड एम एम एस कॉलेज अक्रॉस महाराष्ट्र जैट फॉर जेबीएस एंड अदर कॉलेज कैट के जैसे ही जैट भी बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट हो गया है क्योंकि कैट में केवल आई एम्स है प्लस कुछ और कॉलेज थे अब वैसे ही जैट में भी वो कॉलेज इंक्लूड हो गए एनमेट इज फॉर नर्सी मुंजे इसके अलावा भी एक दो एग्जाम्स बच जाते हैं मैट एटमा करके और भी है टेस्ट का एग्जाम अलग होता है 
which is again important for your uh, options purpose okay now i'll just give you a brief about cat i have intentionally kept 2019 pattern because this pattern has the complete cat bol sakte hain hum isko kyunki 20 and 21 mein <coughs> pandemic ke karan cat apni full length pe nahi hua tha actual cat ka jo pattern hai wo 180 minute ka hai par टू ये 120 ट्वेंटी मिनट पर रिड्यूस हुआ है पैनेडेमिक के कारण मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली वो आई एम ट्राइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वाई कैट एग्जाम इस जितने भी लोग आप मुझे सुन रहे हैं क्यों आपको कैट का एग्जाम देना चाहिए और क्यों प्रिपरेशन करना चाहिए इनके इनके जो सेक्शन हैं उनको देख के आप समझ सकते हैं यू कैन फाइंड इट आउट वेरी वेरी इजिली सो वेन वेन यू सी द प्रेजेंट सिचुएशन विच रिक्वायर्स विच डिमांड योर एबिलिटी टू understand data and comprehend that data on a, on a structured manner basically ye skills aapki check honi chahiye na ki wo skills jo aapki memory based hai to cat jo 2015 ke pehle tha wo zyada tar memory based tha aapko vocabulary learn karne hai formula learn karne hai equations karne hai jinka practical world mein utna istemal nahi tha but wohi cheez when you will see today you will find it out cat is not most based on completely on memory based it is basically your comprehension sabse classical example english verbal section aap mein se bhi kai log mere jaise bahut problem mein honge verbal mein main bhi jab cat appear karta raha hu maine dekha ki varc section hamesha english section is, is a main main concern to me unhone is baat ko dhyan rakha aur 15 ke baad se ye cheeze badli ab jo varc hai wo non memory based hai it is purely comprehension based comprehension matlab you will get passages passages of different types it could be from sports economy it could be from finance or business it could be from psychology it could be a fiction topic it could be from history it could be a novel it could be a book anything so this is actually checking you are different able to uh, uh, understand and comprehend different different data अब आपको इसके लिए बचपन से इंग्लिश मीडियम में पढ़ा होने की जरूरत नहीं है <coughs> अगर आप कंसिस्टेंट रीडिंग रखते हैं इफ यू आर डूइंग अ रेगुलर रीडिंग और आज भी अगर आप शुरू करते हैं रीडिंग का तो भी आप इस सेक्शन में अच्छा कर सकते हैं सो so, जो वोकेबलरी लर्न करना है बड़े बड़े ग्रामर्स के रूल लर्न करना है उसकी रिक्वायरमेंट अब बहुत मिनिमाइज हो गई है बट अब आपका रीडिंग कैसा स्किल्स है उस पर बेस्ड है तो वी इज अ परफेक्ट एग्जाम्पल how well they have accommodated their syllabus towards the global standard so when you see the exams like gmat and other you will find they have a similar type of pattern which was made which is based for which is which is very very similar towards the comprehension thing right rather than the skills on vocabulary and all so that is the major change second is the biggest change which has come came in uh, the lrdi section i still remember this is always been a scoring to many of you but now this has become the most tough section look at here tough to moderate so it is a tough section you will find it difficult abhi maine ye jo pattern hai main again repeat kar raha hu ki i have i have kept it 2019 pattern because if cat will happen with a full cat paper to it will definitely be a 3 hour paper 2 ghante ka nahi hoga it is injustice टू आवर्स में ये सब चीजें कर पाना डिफिकल्ट है ऑल दो नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन रिड्यूस हुए बट स्टिल द प्रॉपर कैट विल बी ऑफ अ फुल थ्री आर पेपर सो एल आर डी आई सेक्शन इज नाउ दफेस्ट वन बिकॉज हेयर यू विल बी प्रोवाइडेड ह्यूज डेटा और उस डेटा को आपको एनालाइज करना है तो आप खुद सोचिए जब डेटा को एनालाइज करना है इन न्यूमरिकल फॉर्म में और लॉजिकल फॉर्म में तो वही चीज आपको प्रैक्टिकल वर्ल्ड में भी जाके करना है तो आज आप जब कैट लिखेंगे तो आपको लगेगा कि जो हमसे लर्न करवाया जा रहा है वो हमको एमबीए में भी काम पड़ने वाला है और वही चीज हम अपने जॉब में भी करने वाले हैं या प्रैक्टिकली हम किसी करियर खुद का खुद का कोई बिजनेस स्टार्ट करेंगे तब भी वही करने वाले हैं दिस इज द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सेक्शन आई बिलीव ज्यादातर बच्चों को स्ट्रगल यही होता है ये शुरुआत में ऐसा लगता है कि ये केवल रीजनिंग है लेट मी टेल यू ये रीजनिंग अब वैसा नहीं रहा दिस इज चेंज ड्रामेटिकली थर्ड सेक्शन जनरली मैं देख सकता हूँ ज्यादातर कॉमर्स स्टूडेंट्स हैं ज्यादातर ऐसे स्टूडेंट्स हैं जो मैथ से थोड़ा सा फियर होता है इंजीनियर्स को थोड़ा मैथ ज्यादा पसंद होता है आ, हम लोगों को मैं भी कॉमर्स वाला हूँ तो अब क्वांट को उन्होंने कितना वंडरफुली डिफाइन किया पहले क्वांट जो था वो डोमिनेंट था हायर मैथमेटिक्स पे 
ऐसे टॉपिक जो प्रैक्टिकली दसवीं तक नहीं पढ़ाए जाते हैं तक इलेवेंथ ट्वेल्थ में पढ़ाए जाते हैं या जो हायर ग्रेजुएशन के होते हैं बट अब उन्होंने क्या किया एरियाज डिवाइड किया पांच मेजर एरियाज फाइव एरियाज में सबसे इंपॉर्टेंट अरिथमेटिक है नंबर सिस्टम है मॉडर्न मैथ्स है एल्जेब्रा है जोमेट्री है तो इन पांचों एरियाज में अब जो नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन आते हैं वो इक्वली डिवाइडेड होते हैं तो अगर आप एक नॉन इंजीनियर है एक साइंस वाले मान के चलिए कॉमर्स है या आप कंप्यूटर एप्लीकेशन वाले हैं या आर्ट्स वाले हैं इनफैक्ट तो भी आप नंबर सिस्टम अरिथमेटिक और मॉडर्न मैथ में अच्छा स्कोर कर सकते हैं अल्जेब्रा ज्योमेट्री आपके नहीं तो मतलब क्या हुआ है कि एक लेवल प्लेइंग फील्ड आ गई फर्स्ट जो सेक्शन uh, था आप कितना ही इंग्लिश में अच्छे हो वो आप उस सेक्शन को क्रैक नहीं कर सकते जब तक आप रीडिंग नहीं करते तो रीडिंग एक ऐसी चीज है जो आप ओवर द पीरियड टाइम लर्न कर सकते हैं अभी भी लर्न कर सकते हैं एल का सेक्शन प्योरली डिपेंड करता है कि आप कितना रीड कर रहे हैं और उसको कितना कॉम्प्रीहेंड करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं आप अगर देखें मैंने जितने भी क्वेश्चन पूछा जिसमें खासकर लास्ट में जो क्वेश्चन थे वो एक रीडिंग बेस्ड क्वेश्चन थे तो आज आपको क्वांट में भी एक पैसेज मिलेगा उसको रीड करना है एल में भी पैसेज मिलेगा और रीड करके कॉम्प्रीहेंड करना है वी ए आर सी सेक्शन में तो ऑटोमेटिकली मिलेगा तो बेटा बच्चों ये बात ध्यान रखिए This is the most important suggestion which I am giving you based on the pattern CAT का available और ये केवल CAT की बात नहीं है आप में से जिनको CAT नहीं भी करना है please try and understand ये बात है आपके overall development में अगर आपसे कोई single point में पूछे what do you think will be the skills future में required है वो ये तीन section आपके सामने है इसलिए once in a life you have to prepare for CAT exam this will give you a greater sense of understanding i believe okay now i am quickly going through the current pattern which was there in last section last year this is 21 pattern okay so last uh, cat mein 21 pattern pe tha theek hai 2021 mein you can see that there were around 66 questions so 100 questions is 66 pe reduce hua बिकॉज प्रैक्टिकली 180 एटी मिनट से टाइम जो था वो वन ट्वेंटी हो गया सो नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन जो थे नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन जो है वो भी हंड्रेड से सिक्सटी सिक्स हुआ एक्चुअली दिस इज ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन में ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी में ये बहुत बड़ा इस पर बवाल भी मचा था क्योंकि टाइम तो वन ट्वेंटी हुआ था बट नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन सेवेंटी फाइव थे विच वॉज इन प्रैक्टिकल आप टाइम वन थर्ड रेट से रिड्यूस कर रहे हो बट नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन केवल वन फोर्थ से रिड्यूस हो रहे तो ये आपके थे अच्छी बात कैट की ये है कि उन्होंने नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन भर चेंज किया है पैटर्न नहीं बदला बिकॉज दिस इज द बेस्ट पैटर्न यू कैन सी फॉर एनी एंट्रेंस एग्जाम अवेलेबल एंड मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंटली जितने भी अदर एग्जाम्स हैं इनफैक्ट कंपनीज के भी क्वेश्चन सोन लीजिए या फिर कोई गवर्नमेंट एग्जाम बोल लीजिए या फिर अदर मैनेजमेंट एंट्रेंस एग्जाम बोल लीजिए दे हैव ऑल्सो चेंज देयर पैटर्न अकॉर्डिंग टू द सिचुएशन सो दिस इज वॉट आई बिलीव यू शुड अंडरस्टैंड है ना और Apart from this, uh, there are many other exams available. I am not going in very detail. I am just giving you the other exam, which is one of the very very popular exam for across the Maharashtra, which is CET. CET is why it is popular because of the two reason. The ROI, ROI is nothing but the fees you are paying and basically the return you are getting. So the salary upon the investment, fees investment. So the ROI of these colleges is very very high. मतलब salary आपको अच्छा खासा मिलता है और investment उतना नहीं करना पड़ता जितना बाकी colleges में है. दूसरी बात क्या है कि बहुत बड़े brands हैं जो across top 50 में भी काफी सारे numbers आते हैं. तो CET का pattern बहुत simple है. Unfortunately CET में बहुत सारे बदलाव नहीं किए गए हैं. Same रहे हैं. Constantly ये same ही रहते रहे हैं. ये बहुत ज़्यादा changes नहीं हुए हैं इसको लेके. तो इसलिए I believe CET is same वर्बल का सेक्शन 50 मार्क का लॉजिकल का सेक्शन 75, एब्स्ट्रैक्ट इज 25 एंड क्वांटिटेटिव इज 50. दिस एग्जाम इज कंपेरेटिवली वेरी इजी इफ यू आर इन सिक्स थर्ड ईयर यू कैन स्टिल प्रिपेयर फॉर सीटी एग्जाम यू कैन स्टिल मूव फॉरवर्ड फॉर अ सीटी एग्जाम ये आपके लिए अभी भी ऑप्शन अवेलेबल है ठीक है सो दिस इज वन थिंग विच आई वॉन्टेड टू पुट फॉरवर्ड दीज आर दॉप कॉलेज दैट इज वॉट आई एम से कि ये सब कुछ कॉलेजेस है इसमें ये जे बी आई एम एस सिडनेम वेलिंकर सोमिया इज नो मोर विथ सी टी नाउ सेंट जेवियर डालमिया इज ऑल्सो नो मोर आई एस इज ऑल्सो नो मोर एस आई एस चेतना एम ई टी सेंट फ्रांसिस 
then pune ke pumba indra mit are top most colleges in nagpur also you will find some good colleges which is been there the fee structure of these colleges is low and comparatively they are highly recommended colleges in there across the country iske baad finally i am uh, coming up with my session main aapke questions and queries mein se discuss karunga i at the end we will talk about the questions and query you can ask me preparation ultimately guys is the key you need to understand your preparation should always start from now onwards as soon as you come to know that i have to go for a this career start preparing i would believe at least 6 to 8 hours ka plan kijiye start understanding the topic when you join a classes please learn the topic topic learn karne ke baad give a topic test then give a sectional test because test will give you ultimately the the possibility the understanding where you stand on a particular topic then of course when you start giving your test your sectional test you will have a greater understanding about your strength weakness and which are the opportunity section and which is completely a threat to you so this bifurcation will help you understanding and preparing yourself for mock ultimately if you will not give a mock test it is not going to solve any purpose so mock test will come immediately when you do a sweat analysis so sweat analysis matlab ye ho gaya ki aapka internal analysis hai wo main aapko help kar sakta hu but ultimately you have to realize on that realization is only possible when you will appear a topic test and then once you appear for a mock test test ka jo procedure hai वो कंप्लीट नहीं होता है विदाउट एनालिसिस रिमेंबर एनालिसिस इज द की दिस विल गिव यू अ सेंस ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग वेयर यू आर स्टैंडिंग एंड अकॉर्डिंगली यू कैन प्लान एंड देन यू कैन मूव फॉर अ एग्जाम दिस इज द प्रोसेस यू हैव टू फॉलो फॉर एनीथिंग व्हाट एवर यू वांटेड टू प्रिपेयर बट फॉर एन कैंट एग्जाम दिस यू हैव टू फॉलो रिलीजियसली कांस्टेंटली एंड कंसिस्टेंटली ओके Finally, Vikalp Education can help you. We have separate batches for non-engineer candidates, so we are basically making you prepare for basic to advanced. We have uh, the courses initially. We are starting from beginning. Then we are making you slowly, slowly available. Har topic ke humne multiple tests create karke rakhe. The app jo apni kia hai, usi app me hamare pas sare topics ke tests hain. और उनका एनालिसिस है वी आर वी हैव प्रिपेयर्ड वीडियो सॉल्यूशंस ऑफ इट और काफी सारे अपग्रेडेशन हैं ताकि आपका लर्निंग इंटेंसिव हो सके और उसको बेसिस पे आप अपना आगे प्रिपरेशन कर पाए फाइनली विकल्प इज कॉन्स्टेंटली वर्किंग ऑन लर्निंग एबिलिटीज लर्निंग कैन वर्क ऑन ओनली द वे ऑफ रीडिंग वी आर कॉन्स्टेंटली हैविंग सेशन ऑन न्यूज पेपर रीडिंग बुक रिव्यूज ताकि आप रीडिंग जो है वो कभी भी कॉन्स्टेंट uh, बेसिस पे रख पाए ठीक है एंड द हिंदू इंडियन एक्सप्रेस हमारे यहाँ आता है तो ये इंडियन एक्सप्रेस को आप देख सकते हैं देन दिस इज द वे यू कैन स्टार्ट वर्किंग ऑन योर प्रिपरेशन पार्ट दिस इज आर एप व्हिच ऑलमोस्ट यू यू आर ऑलरेडी हैव डाउनलोडेड दैट्स व्हाई वी आर कंडक्टिंग दिस सेशन बट इन दिस एप यू विल फाइंड एटलीस्ट मल्टीपल थिंग्स विच कैन बी यूजफुल फॉर योर फ्यूचर करियर ऑप्शन विकल्प लर्निंग एप इज वर्किंग टूवर्ड्स प्रोवाइडिंग दी the better understanding on career option and on assessment side on training side and most important in your uh, on mentoring side all all aspects that we will be covering with this is our features for cat and mba we have a separate application for cat exam that means you will be getting two app for learning one is for testing yourself in topic wise and for mock and other thing we have a separate preparation on a separate uh, test which is we called as tcy okay then we have the cat batch is available with us okay and the most important thing is cat new cat batch is starting from this weekend and the fees we have discounted to only 35000 and there are other entrance exams also which you can see this is our best possible fees available and 22 preparation has already begin you can start with it we have start, or started registration for 23 also cat 23 those who are in first year they will appear cat next year those who are in second year they will appear cat this year 22 it's said those who are in third year they can appear for ct exam now and we can talk about the most important thing is i am connected with my students and i will be delivering maximum sessions just like what i am conducting now okay 
so if you have any query you can ask me now and this is from our side this is what i have tried communicating with you people you have query one of the query have already appeared from prasanna you have less than 60 percent in class 12th will it affect my mba selection so honestly speaking prasanna top colleges across the country will actually going to see your academic criteria also so you may not be able to uh, get a good uh, iams but yes the rest of the iams or probably other colleges which may not have a criteria can allow you but top colleges is tough very very tough i'm not saying you are outrageously eliminated but for less than 60 percent in 12th or 10th it's difficult very very difficult for top iams you know but still i, I told you 150 plus colleges it's not a matter of only IIMs, it's a matter of top colleges. So top colleges can provide you a career. I have not done, uh, I have not done, nay, I am, I am Nagpur also will be difficult, I believe. Percentage criteria, jiske bhi IIMs mein hai, wahan par aapko difficult jayega. Jahan bhi percentage criteria already mentioned hai. Kuch IIMs mein nahi hota hai, but maximum IIMs or maximum colleges mein 60% to basic criteria hota hai. But again, I'm telling you that I have done an MBA from uh, Mumbai College, then I pursued a course in JBIMS, and now I'm pursuing a course in IIM Lucknow. So this actually will going to matter rather than it is it is actually your percentage. Now you can't improve it. So we to talk about the future. So you have to take extra efforts so that the problem in the future can work out in the future. In some colleges, your chances are very low. Uh, maximum may but baki sare colleges may achhe ho sakte hain. Any other question apart from this, Prasanna? Our percentage, can you please elaborate, Prasanna? On what sense you are asking a question? Our percentage, what does it mean? Elaborate. Yes. Any other question? I have not understood the question of Prathna. So how did you find a session guys? Can you please tell me? Did you find it effective? Did you understood it? We have Yes, yes, there are colleges, Prasanna, I'm telling you, there are multiple colleges, sabka alag alag factor of percentage hai, correct. That's why I'm saying that you have no zero chance, it's not that you have a very big issue. Yes, this is a criteria, and that criteria has been kept in upgradation, some colleges accept it, some do not. What are the average fees for MBA colleges? So it varies, Pita Pragati, it varies from... Uh, uh, Per year, I am saying uh, 2 lakhs se leke 20 lakh rupees tak bhi per year jata hai. Chike? So, depend karta hai aap koon se aaya, koon se colleges se kar rahe hai. Generally, ek IIMs mein 25 to 30 lakh 2 years ka lagta hai. But that is minimum, I think. IIMs ke liye 25-30 lakhs is simple. Koi bhoat badi baat nahi hai. Uh, achha, percentage cracking of any entrance exam. So, Good question, Pratna. Pratna, uh, CAT ka jo percentage hai wo roughly 5% ke aspas hai jitne candidates bethte hai. Usme top colleges mein jane wale 5 to 10 percent honge. To 2 lakh candidates mein se lagbag 5 percent bole to aap samaj sakte hai. 10 percent is 20,000. So lagbag 10,000 se 20,000 good colleges hai jo CAT ke under mein. Jusme top IMs ki agar aap baat kare to unka rate 1 or 2 percent hi hoga. Which is I think pretty decent and pretty high enough. Okay, one or two percent in country like India, you will find itna hi percentage rehne wala hai. Okay, so yes, thank you so much, Prasanna. Please give your feedback, guys. I have shared the link also. 
I think you may be able to able to open it. If you will not be able to open it, आप क्या करिए आपको ग्रुप में भी हम लोग ऐप में ये शेयर करेंगे एंड वी विल डेफिनेटली लुक फॉरवर्ड टू योर फीडबैक्स ताकि हम भी आगे अपने आप को इम्प्रूव कर सकें ठीक है वट अबाउट अदर्स हाउ डिड यू फाइंड सेशन एट लीस्ट शेयर योर फीडबैक्स नाउ हाउ डिड यू अंडरस्टूड डिड यू अंडरस्टूड वॉट वट आई एम ट्राइक एंड कम्युनिकेटेड प्लीज कम ऑन क्विकली टेल मी Yes, yes, Pratna. We are also very, very like uh, uh, keen on giving sessions, and I would love to connect with you guys in your college also. We will connect with your uh, coordinators. I believe college has started, so uh, it would be great interacting with you physically. We will connect you shortly in your college itself. But till the time, if you are planning to have a career in MBA or any other entrance exam. please do visit our offices our offices are located in two places in ramnagar and nandanwan these are the contact details available and you can come down to us if you want to join any of the courses or you want to have any queries also definitely definitely we will be there theek hai okay so i would i would request everyone to give a feedback which is being circulated in this chat box also and if you will not be able to open it so that is available in our application so i i believe from this i am signing off i wish you a good career in future and i would uh, request you to make sure that you will you will learn things from uh, the 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 changes available in across the country across which is happening to you and start preparing for some good decent career options theek okay? hai thank you so much everyone thank you भाग्यश्री भाई भाई